Monday morning, headed up to the truck. It's just a normal day. We're gonna have players coming in about 8 a.m. Our team meeting's about 7 a.m. So, normal day in the life. I just came from the U.S. Open. It was in uh, Bethesda, D.C. area. Uh, six and a half hours here. I think we have the biggest in the baddest truck. Well over 65 feet. I'd say 16 feet wide with the trailer. Weight-wise, we are just under 70,000 pounds. Not necessarily the heaviest, but it is the hardest to maneuver. team will be with me as well. We have four other guys. These guys have all been out here for many years. They've been in touch with players all week. He's XR16 9 degree. Uh-huh. Perfect. I see him probably as much, if not as more than I see my own wife. So we better get along. And uh, fortunately for us, we got five guys that travel every week that, I mean, they're, they're, these are my boys, you know. I like hanging out with them. It's kind of weird that we you know, work together for, you know, four days a week and we still go to dinner every night. Like, we still hang out every night together, so it's pretty fun. No matter how big the event is, uh, usually is a busy day. The guys are working, they want to get their club work done. All right, loft measured at 57 degrees. Danny Lee is wanting to do some shaft testing today. What he wants to test? Like what uh, else? A lot of shafts. It's all feel for him, so I'm just gonna grab like three or four that are in his flex and weight range and just go out there and just start ripping them. Uh, each player is very particular on what grip they use and, and how much tape. This wall right here is kind of called the grip wall. Um, it has every player we have on staff and what grip they use. Uh, Danny Lee is, uh, excuse me, one piece of double sided tape, and tour velvet which is this grip right here, 58 round. That's the internal diameter of the grip. And then the money sign on here stands for uh, logo upside down. We don't have much margin for error in here, do we, Johnny? No, we take a lot of pride in what leaves this truck. It's unbelievable how much we, <laughs> we care about somebody else's golf game. It's really kind of weird. Because you know that if stuff goes sour, like <laughs> you got a lot of work to do next week. <laughs> yeah. uh, Matt Hainline is our uh, putter rep. He takes care of anything and everything that has to do with uh, Odyssey putters. There's such an emotional connection to putting, so, you know, it's, drivers is really easy. Like, this one goes further than that one, so I'm gonna use this one. Putting is totally different. It's, there's so much emotion attached to it that you know they could just pick something up that who knows what but maybe the colors look good to them or the the lines on the putter sit up good with their eye and all of a sudden they get that kind of boost of confidence and you know if you can get to the level to where they'll come to you not only for the putter that they use in their equipment but also if they're struggling or they ask you to kind of take a look at their stroke and help them out there like that's really is the most rewarding part of the job it's a tight roll on the ground, man. Okay. What do you think? Uh, it feels pretty good. Yeah? Check it out. See okay. What it Should we talk about your uh, weekend, your golf? <laughs> I enjoy working and helping these guys more than playing. Did, so. did you find anybody to give your clubs away to? No. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to play for a living, uh, and it was very mediocre at best. Uh, we all have somewhat of a playing background. I think it's hard to do this job and you know, speak with, with credibility. When you play tournament golf, you know the experiences, you know the emotions, you know what it means to, you know, stand on the 18th tee and be nervous as hell. Let's see what you got. If it doesn't, it's your fault, not ours. <laughs> <laughs>